Hey world, this is James Patrick at Slam Academy. I've been an Ableton Certified Trainer since 2006, so I'm so excited to show off all these new Live 11 features. This software is better than ever. Today we're going to cover some new interface updates, in particular tricks you can use to kind of remix and rearrange your tracks using scenes on the session view. So now check me out. See these scenes with the names on them? This is where Live 11 steps in. I can come up to my brackets up here and I can pull to the left. And look, I get scene numbers. These always had numbers before, but you could rename them, you know, like this could be like, uh, you know, groove or whatever you're doing here and you could rename it. But there's these permanent numbers that will always stay there. And that's going to let you know no matter how many times you've renamed or moved around your scenes, this one is like always 18 and that's never going to change. That's handy for a couple of reasons I'll show you in a sec. If I pull a little further over, I also get the BPM. This is an old function from Ableton Live where you could rename a scene and say 89 BPM, enter, and then you could launch it and it would change the tempo up here in your session. But you don't need to do that anymore because now you got this little field right here. So maybe remix one. What is 167 and a half? I don't even know. But you could change this to any number you wanted. Like, let's try that, uh, I don't know, 80-something. Here, look, it's going to be funny. It's day one when he came up. Right? So it's you can do whatever you want with this. Right? So this is insanely tight. Go back to 167 by just double-clicking, and now I'm going to pull a little further out even again, and look what I've got. Time signature. So you don't need to change that unless you're sure you need to. But, you know, going into a 3-4 section or, you know, making different variations on your metering is all possible here too, all within the scene launcher. Is that crazy tight or what? Oh my God. So this thing's fully programmable in a lot of really lush ways. And with the session views insanely powerful improvising and non-linear capabilities just throughout um, there's so much you can do with this now. It's really exciting stuff. So there's more coming up in upcoming tutorials on our YouTube channel about scenes and about these numbers and about how to sequence them together and a lot of great new features that you can still keep watching right now on our YouTube channel. And that's Slam Academy Arts at YouTube. Otherwise, you can just head straight to our Instagram or our Facebook or, of course, our website, slamacademy.com. And so when you do hit that up, you can know for sure that we have more Ableton certified trainers than anywhere. And we also have the most affordable online programs you can find anywhere where you work directly with experts in our high-res virtual classroom and you learn all about how to create your own sound using Live 11, learning how to perform your tracks, doing advanced sound design, just really sculpting out and carving your own sound out of the ether using these exciting tools and working with experts who love teaching. So again, my name is James Patrick. You can hit me up anytime, jp at slamacademy.com. And I sure hope to work with you someday soon. So thanks for watching this tutorial and have a great day. Discover your own sound at America's leading digital audio academy, Slam Academy. An Ableton certified training center, Slam offers in-depth courses in sound design, mixing and mastering, DJing, and more in Minneapolis, Denver, and online only at www.slamacademy.com.